All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another Real Talk. Um, I want to talk to y'all for a moment about Bitcoin. Um, I get a lot of emails about this on a, pretty much a daily basis um, because we see what we live it in, how everything is being turned over to digital, you know. And what we are living in, we're going to see it get worse and worse. Now, this is the first thing I like to say, too, about Bitcoin. Forgive me, Father, as we off top. Once again, give you all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If you're going to invest in something like this, you better be willing to lose money. I'm going to say it again. People ask me, do I invest in Bitcoin? Have I invested in Bitcoin? No. No. But if you're going to invest in it, you better be willing to lose money. This is what I call a very high risk. And you can look at how it's been crashing. Oh, man, you remember when it first came out, right? And the hype about it, how they keep pushing it, you know. But Bitcoin is always up and down. Look like it's more down than up. But you look, you look at the the past few years, man, it's been shaky. And you talking about your money, right? You got to ask yourself this question: Is it is it safe to invest? Once again, is it safe? And am I willing to lose money? Because once it's gone, it's gone. It's just my opinion, y'all. I really believe it's going to crash all the way. Well, somebody asked me in the, in the comment the other day, do I believe Bitcoin is going to truly replace the dollar bill after a while? I'm not all knowing. But I know one thing. You don't even use, that cash is not being used in a lot of places right now. Everything now is chips, or it's, it's the bitcoins, or like I say, it's 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 a way to keep track of everything that we do. Watching every transaction, just like your your debit card, every transaction you make, the bank know about it. Your gas, your groceries, or even your credit card. It don't matter, debit card, credit card. It's all tracked, and that's why for years people used to love using cash because you can't track it but what's going to happen when the cash is gone away completely for those who love cash and don't use debit or credit so i remember was at 2022 back in november uh, about two years ago boy that bitcoin that, that stuff dropped hard and when it dropped you notice the process, it's a very, very slow recovery. But that's your money. Just like a lot of banks have shut down, closed. You know how many people emailed me, told me they had a bank account and they couldn't get their money out that bank and that bank shut down and they couldn't get none of their money? Hmm. Bitcoin, 2023, just last year, it struggled. Struggled hard. Because you got to realize, look at what keeps happening with the price. And here's another thing I'm going to point out. I'm not going to make this video too much longer. The security issues. The security issues. See, cryptocurrency are not backed by the central bank. They're not backed up by the central bank. I want to show you something right there. Why, why doesn't the central bank back up cryptocurrency? Some may say, or the government. Mm. Will it be banned? So I, when I see Bitcoin, I ask myself this question. What real value do it have? Do it even have any real value? 
Now in the Bible, oh man, we can look at the Bible and tell what was real. But once again, we are living in a different time, different age, and we 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 just talked about this the other day. Then we talked about New World Order. We talked about one world religion. We talked about Bitcoin. We talked about war. We talked about all this. And you see the setup has been here. But now as I close, you see more and more things being put into place. So for those that email me and ask me, do I invest or will I ever invest in Bitcoin? No. The just shall live by faith, even if it costs you your life. Shalom.